Hi everyone, it's me Teacher Jay and welcome back to our channel. So for today, we are going to discuss solving problems involving proportions. So last time, ang diniscuss po natin ay properties of proportion. So those properties, i-apply po natin sa pagsosolve ng problems involving proportion. Let's have the first example. Determine the value or values of indicated quantities from the given proportions. So let's have the first one. If u is to v as 3 is to 2, find 4u minus 3v is to 4u plus v. So ang gagawin muna natin dyan, isulat muna natin ito as fraction form. Okay? So magiging u over v is equal to 3 over 2. So, diniscuss po natin last time yung mga on how to write uh, proportions in different ways. We have fraction form and colon form. So, ang ginawa ko dito from colon, colon form to fraction form. Okay? And then, using cross multiplication property, so we have 2 times u that is 2u is equal to 3 times v, that is equal to 3v. Okay? And then, ang gagawin natin ngayon, isosolve natin si u. So, kapag isolve natin si u, i-divide natin both sides of the equation by 2. Okay? Para makuha natin yung value ni u. So, kakancel natin si u, ang sagot dyan ay u is equal to 3v all over 2. So, ito yung value ng u. Ngayon, since meron na tayong value ng u, isa-substitute natin dito yan. Sa so 4u minus 3v is to 4u plus v. Ito naman, pwedeng isulat, isulat ito as fraction form. So, pwedeng 4u minus 3v all over 4u plus v. Since meron tayong value ni u, isubstitute natin dyan. So, we have 4 times the quantity. Yung u natin is Ayan po, 3v over 2 minus 3v. All over, 4 times the quantity. Again, yung u natin is 3v over 2 plus v. And then, simplify natin yung numerator at saka denominator. Unahin muna natin itong numerator natin. So, 4 times the quantity 3v over 2, that is... 12v over 2. So, 4 times 3v, that is 12v, all over 2, minus 3v. All over, 4 times 3v, that is 12v, all over 2, plus v. And then, simplify ulit natin numerator natin, sa denominator, unahin muna natin yung numerator. So, 12v divided by 2, that is 6v. Okay? And then, minus 3v. Next, yung denominator naman natin, 12v divided by 2, that is 6v, plus v. Okay, simplify natin, 6v minus 3v, that is 3v, right? And then, 6v plus v, that is 7v. So, ang coefficient po, o numerical, numerical coefficient ng v na ito, is 1. So, 6 plus 1, that is 7, and then yung V. So, we have 3V all over 7V. Pag dinivide natin yan, of course, makakancel po yung U, na, U dyan, kasi that, that is equal to 1. So, ang naiwan na lang, that is equal to 3 over 7. Right? So, yung 3 over 7, pwede siyang isulat as colon form, which is 3 is to 7. Thus, ibig sabihin po, 4u minus 3v is to 4u plus v is equal to 3 is to 7. So, ang sagot dyan ay 3 is to 7 or 3 over 7. So, I have here another method to solve that problem. Okay, same problem po, another method lang. So, again, if u is to v is equal to 3 is to 2, 
find 4u minus 3v is to 4u plus v. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, isulat muna natin ito as fraction form. And then, ang susunod na gagawin natin dyan is, yung u daw, if u over v is equal to 3 is to 2, yung u natin is equal to 3. Okay? And then, yung v natin is equal to 2. So, magagawa natin itong method na ito kapag ganito lang yung problem na natin. Okay? So, yung u natin is equal to 3 and v natin is equal to 2. So, meron tayong value ng u at saka v, substitute natin. Doon sa hinahanap na 4u minus 3v is to 4u plus v. Okay? And then, by substitution, we have 4 times u which is 3 minus 3 times v which is yung vi2 is to 4 times 3 plus 2. Okay, so baka naguluhan, um, ang ginawa ko lang ay substitution. Sinubstitute ko yung value ng u at saka v. And then simplify natin yan, 4 times 3, that is 12, right? 12 yan. Minus 3 times 2, that is equal to 6, is to 4 times 3, that is equal to 12, plus 2. So 12 minus 6, that is equal to 6, is to 12 plus 2, that is equal to 14. So, we have 6 is to 14. Pero itong fraction na ito or itong ratio na ito ay pwede pang may lowest term. Okay? So, the lowest term or the ratio is 3 is to 7. So, same lang yung sagot po natin kanina dun sa unang problem or unang method na ginamit natin. Okay? So, the ratio of 4u minus 3v is to 4u plus v is equal to 3 is to 7. Let's have another example. If m is to n is equal to 4 is to 3, find 3m minus 2n is to 3m plus n. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon is yung unang method. Pwede rin nyo naman pong gawin yung second method. So, again, ito, itong m is to n as 4 is to 3, sinulat ko siya as fraction form. So, naging m is to n, or m over n, is equal to 4 over 3. By using cross-multiplication property, we have 3m is equal to 4n. And then, ang gusto ko dito, masolve yung m. Okay? So, pag, pag isolve natin yung m, simply divide both sides of the equation by 3. Okay? So, makakancel yung 3 dyan, m now is equal to 4n over 3. So, meron tayong value ng m. And then, yung value ng m, substitute na din dun sa hinahanap na 3m minus 2n is to 3m plus n. So, this one can be written as a fraction. So, we have 3m minus 2n all over 3m plus n. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, substitute natin yung value ni m, which is 4n over 3. Kaya, meron tayong 3 times the quantity 4n over 3 minus 2n. So, para lang uh, kagaya nung ginawa natin yung doon sa first example. All over, 3 times the quantity 4n over 3 plus n. Again, baka naguluhan, ang ginawa ko lang ay sinubstitute ko lang yung value ng m doon sa ating uh, ratio. And then, simplify natin yan, 3 times 4n over 3, that is 12n over 3. Okay? minus 2n. All over, simplify din, naman, din natin yung numerator, ay, denominator natin, this is 12n, or 3 times 4n over 3, that is 12n over 3, plus n. Okay? And then, simplify, 12n over 3, that is 4n, minus 2n. All over, 12n over 3, or 12n divided by 3, that is 4n plus n. So, simplify natin yung numerator muna. 4n minus 2n, that is 2n. Okay? And then, 4n plus n, this is 5n. And then, 2n divided by 5n, simply cancel n here because this is 1. Okay? So, the ratio is 2 over 5, or the... The ratio of 3m minus 2n is to 3m plus n is 
2 over 5 or 2 is to 5. Okay, so ang sagot dyan ay 2 is to 5 or 2 over 5. Let's have another example. Find the ratio of A is to B. So ang hinahanap naman ay A is to B ang hinahanap. If 2A squared minus AB minus 3B squared is equal to 0, where A and B is not equal to 0. So look at this one. Hahanapin daw natin yung ratio na A is to B dito sa given equation. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung equation. This is a quadratic equation in two variables. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang possible answers dyan. Kasi quadratic siya. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin ito, ifa-factor natin. Getting the factors of this, ang ginawa ko dito is 2A squared, just copy 2A squared, and then plus 2AB minus 3AB. Sir, saan mo nakuha yan? Pag sinubtract natin ito, 2AB minus 3AB, same lang dun sa negative AB. Right? Okay, again, baka naguluhan yung 2AB minus 3AB is equal to negative AB. Okay? And then minus 3B squared is equal to 0. Next, factoring by grouping. Okay? By grouping po yan. So, we have 2A, factor out 2A, times A plus B. Okay? Kasi nga, 2A times A, that is 2A squared. And then, 2A times B, that is 2AB. Okay? Next, minus 3B, factor out 3B, or negative 3B. And then, we have the times the quantity A plus B is equal to 0. And then ngayon, factor out natin yung A plus B or 2A minus 3B. Since the same na po ito, kopihin lang natin yung 2A minus 3B. Ito na po yun. And then isang A plus B na lang. So times A plus B is equal to 0. So again, th these are the factors of this equation. So ang gagawin natin dyan, we are going to use zero product property. Okay? So, two, by equating the factors into 0, so we have 2A minus 3B is equal to 0. Then, is, and then solve natin yan. Um, yung negative 3B na yan, transpose ko po sa kabila, nagiging positive 3B. And then ngayon, so solve natin si A is to B. Paano masolve yung A is to B or A over B? Okay? I-divide natin yan both sides of the equation by what? This is 2B. Or divide natin both sides of the equation by 2B para nga makuha natin si A over B. Check natin. 2A over 2B is equal to 3B over 2B. Ayan po. Okay? So, makakancel yung 2 dyan. Ang naiwan na lang po is A over B. Right? Ayan po. And then, 3B over 2B, makakancel yung B kasi nga 1 po yan. Ang naiwan po ay 3 over 2. Or, A over B is equal to 3 over 2. Or, this is A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. So, meron na tayong sagot po ng A is to B which is 3 is to 2. Kaya lang, meron pa pong isang uh, value or meron tayong ratio na A is to B pa kasi dalaw quadratic equation yan. Ano po? So, we have two possible answers. Ang ginamit natin noong una ay yung 2A minus 3B. Ang gagamitin naman natin ngayon ay yung A plus B over, uh, is equal to 0. And then, transpose natin yung B po dun sa right side, magiging A is equal to negative B. Then, divide natin yan, both sides of the equation by B, para makuha natin si A over B. So, Negative B or AB or A over B is equal to negative B over B. Simplify natin yan. Negative B divided by B, this is negative 1 over 1. Kasi pag dinivide naman natin yan, magiging negative 1. Tama po ba? Or it is equal to negative 1 over 1. Negative 1 pa rin naman pong sagot yan. So the ratio again is A is to B is equal to negative 1 is to 1. So, ito yung dalawang possible answers. A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. And yung isa, A is to B is equal to negative 1 is to 1.